Hi guys, it's Savannah and Dex here at Golden Wings Avery's and this is take two on this nest because unfortunately my phone ran out of memory so I'm going to have to go through all that tonight. So this is nest number eight um, and the, this is um, another fledge. So biologically from Xavier and Vroon is that baby um, but fostered obviously by Flash and Orion. So um, if you want to stick with these babies I'm just going to get this little number seven down. She's going to get down. Baby. There we go. Right, she's a good little girl. She's pretty, pretty tame. Um, she does like a fuss. These babies have had extra special handling, um, just because obviously they are the only baby. They were the only babies at one point, and um, so all the attention was going on to these guys. Um, now I'm pretty sure that she is a female. Um, just by the sea air, um, it's nice and light. Um, she used that beautiful, beautiful yellow-faced um, violet opaline. Like those, that hope line wind markings, I mean, especially on this one, really even, really pretty, both symmetrical on either side, just lovely. You've got just absolutely perfect feathers there. So she's an absolute stunning stunner. Um, and if she is <laughs> confirmed as a girl, she has already been reserved. So we'll leave her to have a little fly around. Now we come to our three little amigos. Um, that Dex is showing you in the little bowl at the moment. And this mm -hmm. is Lucky, Hope and Faith. These are the three babies that I was hand rearing that were on death's door in Xavier and Rune's nest not being fed. They had been completely plucked. They were purple and it really was not looking good for these guys. So they are part hand reared. They were hand reared for about three days. They are silly tame. They are just really, really silly, silly babies. Lovely, lovely little characters, lovely, lovely little personalities. Really pleased with them. They're pretty much all the same in mutation wise. Um, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so flip this one over. Look at that gorgeous violet belly. So we've got that yellow face there and that gorgeous violet there and the normal wing wing ugh. <laughs> ming wing wing markings there. So pretty confident this little one is a boy. Um, I am pretty sure actually um, that these three in the nest are boys. Um, not 100%, obviously they haven't fledged. Stop. St <laughs> so um, I can't confirm as of yet. Um, but just have a little look at these. Again, another yellow face violet. Nice full crop. Now we do check with our babies every night. We have a little feel of their crop there. Make sure that they've got a nice amount of food in them, that their vents are clear, that their noses are clear, and it just helps you that they make sure that there's no problems. Um, so this one here, one of the oldest ones. So this one has got more of a um, almost grey. There's a lot more sort of bleeding from the yellow into the body there. Again, I think that one's a little boy. Now you can tell on the tips of these feathers that there is some stress on those um, and that means that the feathers haven't been able to grow properly due to the lack of nutrition um, that will completely disappear within a, uh, a budgie's first molt so if you are on the wait for these and you do notice that the ends of the feathers are a little tatty um, that is because of the issue with the previous mum um, not so tatty on these ones looks like we got to this one in time um, and the other one there as well. Let's have a little look. So again, yeah, just some little tightness on those very tips of the feather there. Um, not as nice and as neat as we'd have hoped. Um, if we kind of grab this little lady up here. Come here, missus. Her feathers will be complete <clears throat> because she's an older bird and she was fostered over immediately. So as you can see there, the, the feathers there are absolutely perfect. Sorry, little one. And there's no sort of fuzziness on those. So there you go. Absolutely stunning babies there. I think we do have three boys and a girl. So once these guys have fledged and I can confirm genders, I will be getting over um, on Messenger and messaging those of you in wait for a little boy. 
so that's it with our vlogs for this evening i hope you've enjoyed watching the videos um and obviously we will continue to do these vlogs because the babies grow so quick there's lots of developments in a few days so thank you very much for watching and like comment share don't forget we've got that competition going on as well so have a little look at our website www.goldenwingsaveries.co.uk we are forever updating it um, we're doing some admin work this evening and um, we're trying to make it mobile friendly if you've got any questions you want to ask please send us a message thank you for watching guys bye bye